Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Mimi. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today's video is going to be a special video because it is in collaboration with the one, the only Mrs. Steph Willis here on YouTube. If you don't know who Steph Willis is, first of all, pause this video, head over to her YouTube channel, her Instagram, her Facebook page, Snapchat, whatever it is, subscriber and then come back to my video this is honestly a dream collaboration i want to take this time to say congratulations steph on hitting a hundred thousand subscribers here on youtube you absolutely deserve it you seem so sweet so genuine caring and so so talented in everything that you do a youtuber a makeup artist cake designer everything just everything that you do it inspires me every single day because you have three adorable kids and a dog and a family and you still look well put together, well dressed and you have your hair and makeup done and I only have one kid and I can't even do that. So it definitely inspires me to basically get my stuff together. <laughs> and thank you so much for hosting this giveaway. I hope I didn't disappoint with this makeup look and makeup tutorial. For those who are just tuning in and have absolutely no idea what's going on, so Steph, she hit 100,000 subscribers on her channel, YouTube channel, and she hosted a giveaway and she was going to pick four lucky winners. Each of us will get sent a box full of goodies and we just basically have to film a makeup look using those products. So the makeup items we had to use was one, the Morphe palette, which is right here. It is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I don't know much about this palette, so I did my little research and I found that there are 15 shimmery shades right here. There are 18 matte shades and two satin shades. The second item we had to use was this Rocketeer Benefit Blush. This is how it looks like. And we have to use one of Gerard Cosmetics Hydrating, or what's it called? Long Wear Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick. And I used the color Mud Slide. And last but not least, this is my favorite. Oh my gosh, this foundation is so perfect. I love it. Too Faced Peach Perfect. Oh, it's in the name. I didn't realize it's in the name. Comfort Matte Foundation infused with peach and sweet fig cream. It smells delicious. So, as you can see, I definitely stepped out of my comfort zone a lot today. So don't forget to check out Stephanie's YouTube channel and the other three winners and their video. I'll leave them all down below in the description box. And let's get started. I got this cardigan at Target and it has these kind of angelic bell sleeves. And every time I wear it, I just want to go like this, like a bat. <laughs> so I'm starting off with priming my face using the NYX Angel Veil Primer. Then to color correct, I'm using this NYX HD concealer in the shade CW05. And I'm using the e.l.f. concealer flawless brush to blend it out as opposed to a sponge because I find that it gives me more of a full coverage and sometimes a sponge absorbs too much product. Now the star of the show, I am going in with the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. I'm using the buffing brush from the Real Techniques collection to buff it out <laughs> and I'm in the shade warm nude to conceal and highlight I'm using Tarte's shape tape concealer in the color light neutral again I'm using the elf concealer brush to blend it out for my nose I like using this eco tool sponge because it has a straight edge and it just fits perfectly on the bridge of my nose. I know I look crazy right now, but this is the process to highlight my face. To set everything, I'm using one of my favorite drugstore translucent powders. This is from the company number seven. It's their Perfect Light Loose Powder in Translucent, and I'm using the e.l.f. blush brush. I love this brush. It just hugs underneath my eyes perfectly. So 
So I'll go back and finish the rest of my face later, but for now I am filling in my eyebrows using this Anastasia brow kit. So going into the lighter shade, I am outlining underneath my eyebrows. Then I'm going to line the top of my eyebrows starting from the arch down to the tail of my eyebrows. Now going into the darker shade, I am going to basically fill in my eyebrows. I want my eyebrows to look as natural as possible, so I'm using small strokes to give it a hair-like appearance. Now I'm blending everything out using a spoolie and then setting everything using the Maybelline Brow Drama in the color Auburn. This is the Morphe 35R palette. Using a fluffy brush, I'm going to the first color in the third row. I'm going to focus this color in my crease. Not really worry about being too perfect. I want everything to look really blown out. This color is going to really help blend everything. Now going to the third color in the fourth row, I'm using this Real Techniques brush. I am so sorry I don't know the name of it. Really focusing the shade only in the crease. Do not bring it up to the brow bone. We still want to see the first shade peeking through. Now going to the second color in the third row, I'm using a dense small brush again from the Real Techniques collection. The shade is going to really help define the outer corner of our eyes and intensify the look. In between each color, I am using a fluffy brush to blend everything out. As for my lid, I'm using the shade in the last row using an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. I'm going to pack this color all over my lids. Now we're going to repeat the process again using all the same shades for our lower lash line. I'm using this e.l.f. smudge brush to define the outer corner of my lower lash line. Now I'm using this cute tiny brush to pop this color into the inner corners of my eyes. I apologize, I don't know the name. Now to define underneath my eyebrows, I'm using this third shade in the second row. Again, using a brush, I have absolutely no idea what brand it's from. Now I'm tight lining. I highly recommend this step for anybody who have really thin, sparse lashes. It just makes your lashes appear thicker and voluminous. This step is pretty straightforward. I'm using the Colossal Big Shot in the color black. I feel kind of guilty for even using this, but this is the NYC liquid liner. I know it's a little bit rubbed off. Unfortunately, they discontinued this liquid liner and I absolutely have no idea why. In my opinion, this is the best liquid liner in the world, but this is my last one and I only use it sparingly, especially on special occasions. And today, this video is a special occasion, so I whipped it out. <laughs> I'm doing it for you guys. Now I'm popping on some falsies. These falsies were actually sent to me by Steph. We weren't required to use these, but I just thought they were so beautiful. Perfect for the look I'm going for, which is a cat eye winged out liner. And I'm using the Salon Perfect Glue, and to be honest, it's far from perfect. It just takes forever to dry, and it's just not my favorite lash glue, but I thought I'd show you anyway. I'm using this Anastasia contour kit to contour my face. Going in with the color Fawn, I'm using this Real Techniques sculpting brush. I like to slowly build my contour because it's so easy to overdo it. So take your time with it. Go in with a lighter shade first and then a darker shade afterwards and really focusing blending the color back towards your ear. To further blend my contour, I'm using this e.l.f. complexion brush. And now for the blush, I'm using this Benefit Rocketeer blush using this blush brush from the Real Techniques collection. That's a lot of blush I just said. <laughs> I usually don't do this, but again, this video is a special occasion, so I thought why not contour my nose. I definitely need more practice, but it's a start. I, um, I thought I'd give it a try.
I like to spray Fix Plus all over my face before highlighting my face so that the highlighter can look even more intensified. Now this amazing highlighter from the drugstore, this is from the brand Wet n Wild. The shade is called Precious Petal. It's seriously my favorite highlighter right now. Last but not lips. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Last but not least, the lips. <laughs> I am first lining my lips. It's in the shade Epic. Sorry, I was out of the frame here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I tried to incorporate a lot of affordable makeup in this video. And I also use a lot of affordable makeup brushes. Finally, I am topping it off with Gerard Cosmetics. Hydra Liquid Lipsticks in Mud Slide. Again, sorry, I was out of the frame. And that's it. That's the makeup tutorial. I know this video was very lengthy. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you again, Steph, for this collaboration. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.